Starting off this countdown, we have the Ultra Black Fish. There are a couple of Ultra Black Fish that are so dark that they are almost invisible. At least 16 species of these fish have specialized skin, which makes them almost impossible to detect. Their skin is so unique that they absorb 99.95% of all photons. This makes them blacker than black. Even under a harsh spotlight, these creatures appear as mere silhouettes. That's why it's also so hard to capture a photo of them. One scientist said, and I quote, it didn't matter how you set up the camera or lighting, they just sucked up all the light. So in a way, these fish have a cloak of invisibility, and that's why it's so easy for them to sneak up on their prey. With features like this, it literally makes them seem like they came from another universe. At number 9 now, we have the Raystown Ray. This one comes from Pennsylvania's Raystown Lake. Now, for many years, locals there reported seeing a large, shadowy figure just below their boats, sending them rocking in the turbulence. Then, a local fisherman finally snapped these pictures of it. It quickly spread around the world until the managing director of the lake admitted they had known about the creature for quite a while. Personally described it as a private creature that often came to the surface in April, that it was a vegetarian, and that humans were most likely safe around it. But knowing all this didn't satisfy adventurers who still visit Raystown every April hoping for a glance. Moving on to number 8 now, we have the Corfu sea creature. In 2015, a Scottish tourist called Harvey Robertson was visiting the Greek island of Corfu and took some pictures inside a sea cave. Now it wasn't until he looked at them later that he noticed this strange creature in the frame. As this image spread online, even the experts were baffled about what it could possibly be. It appeared to have a nose and snout and looked nothing like the usual animals found in that area. Harvey himself said it looked like a creature from Greek mythology. Next up at number 7, we're going to Australia. In February 2017, the internet was very confused to see this image of a strange creature that washed ashore on Fremantle Beach in Western Australia. Its body was ash grey on top with a white underbelly. It was already decomposing when it was discovered, but people noted that there were parts of it missing. How it got there, what it was, and who or what had taken huge chunks out of it are still being hotly debated. Moving on to number 6 now, we have the Montauk Monster. In July 2008, the Montauk Monster washed ashore on the Ditch Plains Beach, Montauk. The media went into a frenzy as people tried to figure out what it was. Its legs appeared too long to be a raccoon, sea turtles don't have fur or teeth, dogs don't have those kind of eyes or feet, and sheep's teeth aren't that sharp. Some people still maintain that it was a raccoon. Now the issue would have been put to rest if scientists were able to examine the corpse, but as quickly as it appeared, it disappeared not long after and has never been seen again. Alright, next up at number 5 now, we have the Hook Island Sea Monster. On December 12, 1964, photographer Robert Le Sarek was in a rowboat off Hook Island in Queensland, Australia. Suddenly, heading towards him and his family in the water was a huge, 80 foot long creature. Robert quickly grabbed his camera and snapped these pictures you're seeing now. It appeared to be some sort of giant water snake with a tadpole like head. As it came closer, Robert said it appeared to have smooth skin, no fins, pale eyes, and a white mouth with no teeth. He also said it had a wound on its back, and that could have been the reason why it was taking shelter in the bay. As he tried to take more pictures, it seemed to get annoyed, it quickly turned around and swam into deeper waters. Alright, coming in at number 4 now, we have the Windermere Worm. In 2006, kayaker Tom Pickles took this picture of a creature in Lake Windermere, England. Now at first, he thought it was a dock, but as he got closer, he could see just how huge this thing was under the water. Tom said it was about the size of three cars and it sped past him. He estimated it was moving at about 10 miles per hour. The three humps you can see in the picture were moving in a rippling snake like motion. Other people were very pleased to see this picture because it confirmed to them that their own sightings of the Windermere worm were real. Next up at number three now we have the Larget Float Worm, otherwise known as the Icelandic Worm Monster. For almost 700 years, locals near Lake Larget Float in Iceland have reported seeing a a huge serpentine creature there. Along with the pictures of it, it's been described as being longer than a bus and has even been sighted lying outside of the water, sometimes slithering into the trees. A terrifying thought. Even the head of the Icelandic National Forest Service said they saw it. For the locals though, this isn't a good thing, as the 700 year old legend says that bad things follow the worm monster sighting. Moving on to number 2 now, we're going to Russia in June 2015, where a prehistoric like mutant creature washed up on the shore of Sakhalin Island. Now, as you can see, it was a very shocking sight for the people there to find. The bloodied, ripped up car 
carcass was twice the size of a dolphin, with thick hair hanging off it. Marine biologists were very puzzled. Nothing they knew seemed to match this sight of an enormous dolphin like creature with a beak and fur. Some people think it might have come from warmer waters to die. And finally at number 1 we have the Loch Ness Monster. What else could it be really? It's possibly the most famous sea monster of them all. It had been a local legend at Loch Ness in Scotland for over 1400 years, but ever since it was first photographed in 1933 the stories and pictures have captured the world's imagination. Nessie is said to be a large dinosaur looking creature, almost like a plesiosaur but with extra humps on its back. Some of the pictures have been outed as hoaxes, others have been explained away as natural objects in the water, but for the Nessie enthusiasts of today there is no smoke without fire. They believe that even if you take away all of the fakes there are still many stories and many pictures that need explaining. In at number 10 we have the frilled shark, yes a shark with frills. Now looking at this absolutely terrifies me, it's some kind of cross between a shark and a snake, like absolutely no thank you. The frilled shark is classed as a living fossil and exhibits primitive features. Now it's around 2 meters long, so 6 and a half foot, that is a big shark. It has an eel like body with anal fins and 6 gills. Now it preys on smaller sharks by lunging at them like a snake. Ugh. These sharks can be found anywhere from around 1,200 feet deep to 1,500 feet, and they're mostly in the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. In our ninth spot today, we have the Brittle Star. For this one, I want to take a look at one Brittle Star in particular, and that's one that's named the Game of Thrones Star. That's because its appendages look like the thorny crown found on the second Game of Thrones book cover, A Clash of Kings. Now, what's weird about these creatures is that they don't have any brains or eyes, yet they somehow know what they need to do in order to survive. Like dude, it's literally a brainless organism wandering around the bottom of the ocean, and when fish get close to it, they reach out their tentacles and wrap them in a spiral and then eat them. Take a look at them, they literally look like creepy little brainless aliens. I refuse to believe that they're real, like I mean obviously they are real, but like that's a creature straight out of a horror film. In our 8th spot today we have the Black Swallower. This is a deep sea fish with a big appetite, and it can handle more than it looks like it can. That's because it's slender in size, but its stomach can expand up to 10 times its original size. In fact, it can swallow big fish whole, and then the fish stays in their stomach which gets stretched into transparency. In fact, sometimes their food starts rotting in their stomach before they even get a finish digesting it. No wonder it was given the name the Swallower Fish. Just look at that thing. In our seventh spot today, we have the Pacific Black Dragon. Now, this is one of the sea creatures that is considered to be ultra black, so it easily blends into the depths of the ocean where no light reaches. Now, this creature literally looks like an alien from Predator. Look at this! Look at its creepy beady eyes and sharp teeth and like long chin whiskers. It's undeniably creepy. Now, the males are small. They grow to be about three inches in length. Now, they're the weird ones. They have no teeth, no chin whisker thing, and no stomach. And since it has no stomach, it's unable to eat. Isn't that weird? It literally lives only long enough to mate, and then it dies. Now, the female black dragons are the scary ones. These ones can grow to about two feet. Yes, two feet. And they're the ones with the big fang like teeth, and they have that whisker or barbell. At the end of that whisker thing, there's this little light that can turn on to attract prey. So, fish swimming by are like, ooh, what's this glowy thing? I hope it tastes good. And then they go to eat it, and then the black dragon is like, psych, it's me. And then they gobble the fish whole. They also emit poison, which is very dangerous and deadly to their predators. I swear, this video is making me scared of the ocean now. In our sixth spot, we have the zombie worm. In another universe, we have worms that live in the ocean and devour bones. Just kidding, they're real, and these zombie worms are from our universe. Again, I really don't understand how they are real. So, these worms are about one to three inches, so they aren't that big. However, they are very creepy. These tiny things like to devour great big whale bones, and their style of eating is pretty weird, especially since they don't have mouths or stomachs. So basically, they secrete an acid from their skin that is so strong that it can dissolve bones. This then breaks down the bones' fats and proteins from the inside, which they then digest. How delicious. Now, they don't just attack whale bones though, they'll tackle fish bones, even 
cow bones. I know what you're thinking, how are cows in the ocean? Well, sometimes cows or other animals get dumped into the ocean, so they'll take whatever they can get. That's not even the weirdest part, okay? The weirdest part is that the male zombie worms live inside the female ones. One study counted 111 males inside just one female zombie worm, just one. Again. How is this real? Like it literally sounds made up. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the hagfish, also known as slime eels. Even though they aren't eels. Now these ones gross me out because they literally look like human intestines. But what's even more gross are their feeding habits. So basically, they consume other sea creatures by burrowing their way into them. Here's an image of them literally eating a dead shark. They literally create a massive tunnel into the creatures and eat them from the inside out. Ooh. But not only that, they secrete the slime to ward off predators. The slime is so sticky that it can clog the gills of its attackers. Take a look at this video of it repelling a shark. Like what? The shark literally went to chomp it and then it got deterred. And the hagfish was left unharmed somehow. Moving on to number four, we have the three eyed fish. Now, when this creature was discovered in 2011 by an Argentinian man, people went crazy. So he was out on a fishing trip with some friends when he caught this fish a literal mutated three eyed fish. Now, it's quite possible that you've heard of this fish before, because in The Simpsons, there is a three eyed fish known as Blinky. Bart fishes it up near the Springfield power plant in season two, episode four. So people were like, oh my God, The Simpsons predicted this fish. It was especially eerie since the fish was caught in a reservoir where a power plant pumps hot water from their facility and the water is pretty polluted. Honestly, anything with multiple eyes are not from this world. They're just not. In our third spot today, we have the mutant sea creature. In 2018, a strange looking sea creature was found floating along the shore of a beach in China. Everyone was like, what is that? And they were scared to go near it. I mean, it wasn't anything they had ever seen before, but one man wasn't afraid. So he actually went near it and picked it up. And that's when the animal started moving its head and limbs. This creature, who is not yet identified, has a human-like head with some sort of short stubby arms and legs. There is range from a new species of sea life to a mutated starfish or a mutated sea sponge. What do you think it is though? Whatever it is, it's very creepy and alien-like. In our second spot today, we have the goblin shark. Now this is unlike any shark I have ever seen before. And that's because it has the weirdest face ever. Like I'm sorry, but it doesn't look like a shark. That's what I imagine a human crossed with a shark would look like. So these creatures can grow 12 feet long and can weigh up to 460 pounds. It was thought that 13 feet was the biggest that they could grow to. But in 2000, they found a giant goblin shark that was 20 feet long. So now researchers say that they have no real idea about how big these creatures can truly get. Now this thing has one of the creepiest looking faces. It's got a super long nose with a weird Voldemort nostrils, pink flesh, making it look like it was skinned alive. And of course, look at its sharp teeth, but it gets worse. These sharks don't hunt their prey down. Instead, they wait for their prey to come to them. They're just chilling in the water. And once a fish gets close enough, they launch their jaws out and clamp down on them. Yeah, their top and bottom teeth are attached to ligaments so they can reach out and extend its mouth to grab its prey. And its mouth can launch out to about 10.1 feet per second. And its mouth opens super wide. It can open at a 111 degrees angle. And in our number one spot today, we have the barrel eye fish. Now this fish, literally has a see-through head. Not only that, but the thing that you see there, which looks like a brain, is not a brain. It's actually its eyes. Their eyes can rotate in all different directions. They can even look up to see above them through their see-through head. You guys are probably tired of me saying this, but how is this a real creature? I'm sorry, but this fish has a glowing see-through head. 
Like that's not normal. Starting off at number 10 now, we have the New Zealand monster. In 2013, a woman called Elizabeth Ann uploaded a video to YouTube of this creature washed up on Pukahina Beach, New Zealand. Now most of its 30 foot or 9 meter long body was buried in the sand, leaving only its flippers and a mouth filled with sharp teeth visible. Elizabeth said it had been washed up during a recent storm and appeared to have been attacked by something else in the water. Before tests were even done, people were speculating about an even bigger creature out there, a killer of sea monsters. In at number 9, the creepiest deep sea creature with the best name, it is the sarcastic fringe head. I mean oh my goodness, look at this deep sea creepy creature, like it doesn't look sarcastic at all, it looks like it's being very very serious when it says it's going to eat you. For me it looks like a rainbow death eater from the deep depths of hell. The sarcastic fringe head lives 240 feet below sea level, it is a foot long fish, so around 30 centimetres, and they are found in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. Now these fish like to live in little nooks and crannies, they like to live in discarded pieces of rubbish in the ocean and they'll pop out and come and get you if you try and disturb them. For example this fish will engage in a mouth wrestle with other sarcastic fringe heads if they have turf disputes. Now they have a big old face, look at that big old face, that is defence mechanism right there. They have needle sharp teeth that could really pierce human skin if they came in contact with them but they're not a major threat to human beings. So next up we have the gulper eel. Eel. That's right, the gulper eel. I have some kind of like sympathy with this gulper eel. It swims around the ocean with its mouth wide open, hoping just to catch some food. And I kind of feel like that's me on a Friday night after like a long week. But then the sympathy stops when I look at its face and I think, oh my goodness, you could straight up engulf me. The gulper eel lives 3,000 feet below sea level and is luckily rarely seen by humans. Its mouth is much larger than its body and it can span 2.5 feet in length, so around. 75 centimeters. Whilst the gulper eel has a massive mouth, it has comparatively very small teeth, so it can only eat smaller things. Essentially, the gulper eel is just a big show off. In at number seven, we have the snaggletooth fish. The snaggletooth, also known as star eaters, a deep sea stormid fish. Now, this fish is even creepier as it's luminous. It has a light up red chin, guys, a physical light up red chin. It uses this bright chin to lure in prey, which is usually smaller fish. I mean, look at its milky glazed over eyes, I just can't even. Now this fish is found at around 500 meters deep in the sea and is around 26 centimeters long. In at number 6 we have the giant spider crab, that's right, ah! Now this terrifying crustacean lives a thousand feet below the sea and can reach up to 12 foot long. This is the biggest crustacean in the ocean. Often called the Japanese spider crab, this snippy little snipster lives off the southern coast of the Japanese island of Honshu. Now they'll eat anything including shellfish, they can pry stuff open with their claws, they'll eat dead fish and plants at the bottom of the ocean. Now some people even go as far as to say that if dead bodies sink to the bottom of the oceans of sailors etc, these crabs will eat them. No. Ramping up the creepy at number 5, we have the goblin shark. Yes, that is its actual factual name, the goblin shark. The goblin shark lives around 1,300 feet below sea level and is legit terrifying. This prehistoric nightmare has a family lineage dating back 125 million years. Now this shark is pink in colour, has a flattened snout, is about 3.4 metres long, so 11 foot, and hunts for fish and crustaceans on the bottom of the ocean. Now these are found around most of the world, you can find them off the coast of Australia, off the coast of North America, around the coast of Africa, and even off the coast of some European islands. Creepier still at number 4, we have Tiburonia, I think that's how you pronounce it, it's creepy anyway. Now the Tiburonia is a red jellyfish, it's big, it's creepy. Have a look at this deep sea jelly, instead of tentacles it has feeding arms, just flappy feeding arms, I can't deal with the flappy feeding arms. This big red nightmare lives about 4000 feet down in the ocean and has big fleshy oral arms, I can't. This jellyfish lives so far down in the ocean that we don't know a lot about it, but we do know that it's found in the pacific ocean. In at number 3 we have the humpback anglerfish. 
You know this fish, you've seen it, it's depicted in Finding Nemo, it is just as terrifying in real life, if not more so because this is, as Landon would say, real life right now. The humpback anglerfish is often understandably called the common black devil and lives up to 6,000 feet below the sea. I am so afraid of this fish, I don't even know what to do with myself. Let me tell you the creepiest thing about these creatures. All of the males are absolute creeps. They go around the ocean looking for a female humpback anglerfish, they attach on like a parasite and live there forever sharing sperm with her. Oh my god guys, just get off their back. Now these beasties live so deep down in the sea that we rarely see them, but we do know they're found mainly in New Zealand. In at number 2 we have one of the biggest creepiest deep sea nightmares, the vampire squid of hell. I'm not making it up, that's its actual name, the vampire squid of hell. This hellish squid has the largest eye in the world, it has light up mucus and talons on its tentacles, oh my god. It is actually neither a squid nor a vampire, it is more like an octopus and it eats particles of matter like marine snow. Now if you don't know what marine snow is, it's actually particles of decomposing stuff that float down to the bottom of the ocean kind of gross. It's actually very well adapted for its environment and it lives around 3,000 feet deep in the ocean where there isn't much oxygen. For me, I just can't get over the glowing mucus. No. Okay guys, so we have reached that point in our most amazing top 10 creepiest deep sea creatures where we have to pick the creepiest creature. Oh my goodness, the things we have seen, but there is one winner here for me, the creepiest thing I've probably ever seen in my life, it is the blobfish. Now the blobfish gets its name because it looks very much like just that, a blob. A blob with the face of an angry Yorkshireman maybe, but a blob no less. Now this gelatinous mass lives 3,500 feet down in the ocean, mostly around Australia and New Zealand. In 2013 it was voted the world's ugliest creature and you can absolutely see why. Now its body density is actually lighter than water which means it can float around the seabed looking for things to eat. But just like look at its face, would you invite this fish to a party? No, I don't think so.